right? So how do you evaluate this? Now to evaluate this, that means you expand it twice. So I'm going to say t minus root of 3. We multiply by the same 2 minus root of 3. So let's start. You are going to say 2 times 2, it's 4. 2 times root of 3 with a minus to be 2 root of 3. Okay. Then we come to here. So you are done with that. Then we come to this. This times this, which is 2 times negative root of 3, it will be negative 2 root of 3. Then negative root of 3 times negative root of 3. Here, here's the thing. It's like you are multiplying. Now, root of a is the same as a to the power 1 over 2. Now, if you are multiplying same powers, it's like you have root of a times root of a. This is just equal to a. Reason being, it's like you are saying a to the power 2 times a to the power 2. According to indices, when you have the same bases, you just add the powers. Now, what is half plus half? Half plus half is just 1. So, a to the power 1 is just t. Like that. That's why we are saying root of a times root of a is just a. This is a proof here. Because root of a is just 1 over 2. That means what we have here, negative root of 3 times negative root of 3, is just positive 3. Because negative and negative will be what? Will be positive. So now we say 4 plus 3, we get 7 minus. These you can add them because they are like terms. 2 plus 2 to be 4 minus root of what? 3. And this is your final answer. And you get your 2 marks.